Hey, weapons. Four. Four muzzle. Four. Don't need it for that. This is a rangy weapon. You have it. Okay. Like driving on 95 in rush hour traffic at 80 miles per hour. <laughs> you can drive that fast? My experience on 95 has been like. Put, 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 where you just like. You're going, which is not very fast. I mean, sometimes you get like. Ooh, creepy. Sometimes you get, um. The nice days, but when it is there, there's no other cars to be worried about. All right, let's go back in that weird, creepy, fucking, like broken ass area. Yeah, this thing. Uh-huh. Huh. So, I'm assuming this is the... Let's go. Assuming it's the same way to the master thing. Just different. Yep. Ooh, why are you hoarding? Sharon is Karen. We killed some dudes up there. See what they would have dropped. These were new, aren't weren't they? Yeah. There's no way I could have not stumbled upon them. No way. It's not like blood and feces. Blood can, huh? What are we going to use for that? Are we going to show have a showdown with Pikmin? Calling card. Calling card. Calling card. Bum, 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 bum. Pikmin. You can't hide forever, you sick bastard. Pikmin! You can't so, hide forever, you sick bastard. Do you remember? In the other fallouts, that perception would put little red things on your, um... I'm gonna pepper your face full of shit. Like, so this bar underneath, right, right there. With a high enough perception, you could, like... Sense enemies. Is that still true? And my senses are just shit. Is that radi radioactive? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Ooh, what's this? This place looks fun and creepy.
Enemy armor? Wow. Wait, no, I think that's, hold on. That is might be the uh, perception. You can target enemies by parts that are black. There's no decrease in accuracy, huh? There's, I could have sworn there was like a thing. Agility? I was assuming that's a point I didn't have, but maybe it's something that I should have. Something simple. <laughs> right there. To defeat your enemies, there are the weaknesses. You can view such a target's specific damage, resistances, and vats. And I think that's just the one thing. So maybe they have that awareness. That may be it. I want to go up here. This way was just the one dead end, correct? Yeah, okay, so you go down here. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this all the same? Or did I just take the same path twice? Okay, so there's not left. There's middle. Which we've... Okay, no, no, no. Okay. So there is... Okay, there's one way. There's one way. It's not a puzzle.
Thank you, Fractal. <clears throat> I just... Yeah. When did I turn it off? I think to sneeze. And then... I didn't turn it back on. Gotcha. Gotcha. <sighs> so what I was saying was back there, um, you had a choice to either go the low road or the high road. Fucking A. Um, and either way, it didn't matter. Oops. It didn't matter because you both, you ended up in the same way. Like, you had a choice to go low or high. What? It was just go lower high, but either way, you still ended up in the same area. Which is like, oh, that's just like Telltale. Like, yeah, that that's just like how Telltale games work. It's like, oh, you can you can take this road or this road. It's like, oh, the choices, oh, they matter. And then you're like, oh, they ended up going to the same place anyway, because whoever you chose to live ended up dying scriptedly uh, later on. It is the illusion of choice, and it's bullshit. Like, most Telltale games are just a fucking story that you click through. It might as well be a point and click. Like, just a point and click. Like, some of them are already just point, but it's like, Oh, you have so many options. No, you don't. Every Everything is going to die, whether or not you saved them then or later. It's like, oh, this person will remember that.